feel to be home? Two games at home now in front of the Atlanta Hawks. Great. Uh, we were able to come in yesterday, go over some film, and just see each other do what we need. Uh, you know, today was a high intense practice. You know, just going over everything, uh, what we could do better, what we are doing good at the moment, uh, and just try to you know get ready to go out tomorrow and compete at a high level. And you know, use all the energy from you know us having a chip on our shoulder to playing in front of our fans and, and trying to get What was I guess one or two of the biggest things that you've noticed from game one and game two where they kind of took advantage? I mean, like I said before, uh, you can't make too many mistakes on a you know a great team. Uh, they got you know, a bunch of chemistry, uh, well coached. Uh, you know, just everything that you would want in a, a great team. Uh, you can't make too many mistakes. You got to capitalize off of them. Uh, you know, but obviously, just we can be better in everything. Uh, you never want to get content or comfortable when you're doing good things or whatever. Uh, so we just worked on what we're working on, and we just got to go out and execute it for the whole game. It can't be for a quarter or two quarters, three quarters. It got to be for a whole game. Uh, that'll help us win. Dejante, your, your time with Derek. What do you remember most about you guys coming up together? Because you both kind of, you know, reach your stride in your careers together in San Antonio. Just a, a competitor, uh, not a loud mouth guy. Works really hard, really quiet. Uh, Unless he get comfortable with you, he opens up. But you know, he's he's a great great teammate, uh, motivator. He works hard, so it's like there's no surprising. Uh, I'm not surprised. You know, I knew how hard he works, how much he loves the game. He's passionate. You know, so obviously it's just great to see him. You know, able to play. You know, great at a high level. Just want him to slow down a little bit against us. Uh, other than that, man, I'm happy for him. We're gonna continue to compete. And, you know, that's somebody I talk to off the court, you know, so, you know, at the end of the day, I'm happy for him. What's made him so dangerous in this series so far? Uh, I don't even think it's a series. I think, you know, Boston's using him the right way. Uh, you know, high high character, you know, high IQ guy. Uh, he can shoot the ball. You know, he's uh, his .5 is probably one of the best in the game uh, you know, as far as catching the ball and driving and knowing what he wants to do, knowing how to get fouled. Uh, Great defender, smart defender, on the ball, off the ball. So, just everything, man. He's 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 a complete player. Uh, and you know, like I said, I'm happy for him. I know he'll continue to work and learn. You know, but as far as us, we've got to continue to you know handle what we're supposed to handle and take care of business. What's something in game two that you felt like you guys did well that you hope carries over and improves in game three? I think we came out better. Uh, but like I said, uh, we came out and then you know we slipped. Got comfortable, however you want to put it, in, in one of their runs, and just like that. So, you know, like I said before, uh, we got to be able to execute and be, you know, Chris from beginning to the end. You know, uh, and it's not always about making shots. You know, make or miss shots, but you can't allow back doors. You know, easy layups, easy baskets like that in the playoffs. You know, you want everything to, to be able to say, okay, they work for that. You know, whether it's us or them. So. You know, at the end of the day, like I said, we got to be consistent. And I know obviously you're excited to play at home, but how do you feel like it's actually going to help you guys to do that? I mean, it should help a lot, you know. We was able to get home, see our families. You know, that's number one. Uh, and, you know, have some motivation. Have a chip on your shoulder. You know, we down 2-0. It ain't the end of the world. It's not a game. It's a series. So, we get to go out and play, you know, in front of our fans. And, and you know, that should be a push for us. That should be motivation and chip on our shoulder. Is there value in just having the experience of being in playoff games even if things don't go well at the end of the game? Yeah, I mean, because it's something you take and it's something where you want to be every year. It's so hard to get to the playoffs uh, each and every year. So, you know, you, you take the good, you take the bad, but I think it's more positive than anything, you know, whether you win or lose. You know, obviously you want to win. Uh, you know, so at the end of the day, you, you, you go through it, you experience it. Like I said, you take the good or bad, but, you know, more positive than anything. Does it feel different just because everything is so magnified, obviously, in a playoff game as opposed to regular season games? I mean, for me, I try to approach every game the same. Uh, I never try to take basketball for granted. You know, where I come from, this is almost impossible. So each time I'm able to step on the court, you know, I never take it for granted. You know, whether it's a preseason game, regular season game, or even the playoffs where, you know, you're actually playing, you know, for a championship. What is, uh, what is, what is the team trying to do to sort of kind of get going? Say it again. Get, 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 get,
how, how important is that? And what does him and the team need to do to sort of uh, just, get him into the flow of things? Just be himself. Uh, I don't pretty much know what you mean to get in the flow of things. You know, Trey, he's the point guard, you know. That's the guy that we lean on. Uh, you know, he brings the ball up, the ball's in his hand. So, you know, he's got to be confident and be Trey Young, be who he is, you know. Keep the outside noise, the outside noise. He comes in here and work. You know, I'm pretty sure he watches a lot of basketball, so he's a student of the game. Uh, you know, but I don't like to get in guys' faces. You know, I, I text them when we got home and just told them, you know, be yourself. Uh, you know, go out and play the game you love to play. Play it at a high level like you're used to doing and just go from there. That's pretty much it. Since really likes the dynamic between you and Trey and getting too close in that first quarter, like what do you think was clicking to start the game when you got there? Just playing basketball, uh, making the right reads, getting guys involved, staying aggressive for ourselves. Uh, and on the defense end, talking and, you know, just being, being competing and, you know, playing hard, and, and that's pretty much it. Jante, how are you handling everything? I mean, with the new addition at home, being in the playoffs, this is the, I mean, most intense time of year. And is it fun? Is it difficult? How is it all going? It's great. Uh, you don't like losing, like I said. Uh, can't win them all, you don't lose them all, you know, uh, but for me, I'm just, you know, taking the experience, uh, enjoying it, working hard, coming here each and every day, you know, going out, playing in the playoffs. Uh, there's a bunch of guys that's on vacation right now, and we're, you know, one of them teams that's in the playoffs competing for something, so, you know, you, you don't take it for granted, you take advantage of it, and, you know, you see guys in here working, uh, and it's a translate to the game, and, you know, at the end of the day, have fun and make sure you compete while you're having fun. You've been one of the more consistent shooters and scorers just in the past couple games. What makes you thrive kind of in these moments right now in the playoffs? Like I said, I'm just playing basketball. I think uh, at the end of the day, you know, just a confident guy. You know, I'm from Seattle. You know, all, all we do is hoop. We call ourselves hoopers. We play basketball. Uh, we have fun doing it. So for me, yes, it's the playoffs, but at the same time, I love it. Uh, I get to go out and compete against the best. So. You know, it's just, you know, another game for me to go out, compete, have fun, and try to get the best out of myself, my teammates, and, you know, also have fun guarding the best guys and competing with the best guys. Have you reached out or heard That's from Isaiah crazy. Thomas? Say that again? Have you heard or reached out to Isaiah Thomas, and is he giving you any insights on Marcus and those guys? I mean, he texted me last night. Uh, he texted me last night, you know, you know somebody, great person, uh, hard worker, should be in the NBA. But he texted me last night, you know, with, you know, little pinpoints and, you know, just some, you know, some encouraged words to help me be better, help my team. Uh, you know, that's about it. But that's our relationship.